back in Chrome OS 70, that's nine versions of the OS ago, we got a massive change in the way that tablet UIs functioned. And it was a complete overhaul and a completely new way to handle tablet mode on Chromebooks and Chrome OS tablets. Well, fast forward to today, and we're just about to hit Chrome OS 80. And what we're seeing in the change that's happening for tablet mode on Chromebooks at this point is really gonna radically overhaul the way that you navigate and move around between open applications. And we wanna give you just kind of an overview and show you what to expect. So first things first, you're gonna to need to be in Chrome OS 80. So you're at this point, if you're watching this video, as soon as it comes out, you're gonna to have to go to the beta or the dev channel. If you're not certain what that is, or you're not comfortable with doing that, hang on just a little bit and we'll see this all roll into Chrome OS 80 in the coming days or weeks. Once you are there, once you're in Chrome OS 80, you're also gonna to have to enable a flag. So if we go here, it's enable a modular design for the shelf or hashtag shelf hot seat. Once you've enabled it, restarted, you'll be able to see all these changes. And what are those changes? Well, you'll notice immediately there's just a bar at the bottom here of the screen instead of your normal shelf. So that enables you to do a couple things. One, a small flick up gives you your normal shelf. Flick it back down and it's gone. So it's not taking up that room when you're in tablet mode. That's kind of cool. A quick flick up takes you to your home screen. So similar to the way you see on Android or iOS, your main home screen is always going to be navigated to by a quick flick upward. And once you're at that screen, you'll always have the shelf here. The minute I jump back into something, shelf hides away, but is available to jump here. And I can obviously open things up from here as well. The other thing you can do to get into multitasking is a flick up and hold. And we get the multitasking view similar again to what you'd see in iOS or in Android. We've got kind of the scrolling open applications here and you can, Again, flick up to go home, flick up, hold, get these, and then you can long press and drag them to either side, assuming the app supports split screen, and these both do. And then from here, you can flick up and hold to get multitasking on either side. So if I go up here, boom, multitasking, or here, multitasking. Now for now, they have not taken away the swipe down from the top to go to multitasking. My guess is they will probably remove that. And so swiping up from the bottom will be the way that you enter multitasking. The other additional thing that they have worked out here, and let me show you on a, an app where it works properly. So say we go into YouTube, I start a video. Ah, oh, it's not the video I wanted, I wanna go back. Well, there's a back button here all the time, but if you want a gesture, just like an Android, swipe here and it'll take you back when it works. And now we've gone back. The problem is in something like the Play Store right now where you have a swipe out menu, is when I try to swipe in, it brings the menu out and then just completely freaks out. Uh, so the menu's out, but you can see it kind of trying to do both actions. And so you'll never get a back gesture in the Play Store or in any app where you have a menu that swipes in. They're gonna have to work on how it is. They're gonna fix that. With Android, they do some different things, but I think they could also enable the gesture over here like they do in Android for those menu situations where you need to go back or again, you just can hit the back button. But that's pretty much it. I mean, if you're coming to this from iOS or from Android, this is gonna feel like native and a normal way to get around a tablet UI. And I love the fact that it kind of has its own feel and it maintains a lot of what they've worked on with Chrome OS's tablet mode, but it's just giving you a gesture navigation that works. And I'm really happy with how well it works. We're just now getting to see it. And instead of it being janky and full of bugs, it pretty much works the way you expect it to aside from that one back gesture. So overall, this is a really nice development and I'm excited to see this roll out in conjunction with some of the tablets that we expect to see in the upcoming months. So that's everything that's new with gesture navigation on Chrome OS tablets. And that's it for this one, guys. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Go down there and hit the subscribe button and make sure and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Till next time, we'll see you.